to meet the ever-increasing energy demands from local as well as foreign clients, Woodside Energy is developing the Enfield oil field. The field is located in the Carnarvon Basin, some 40 kilometres off the northwest Cape in Western Australia. TSE Joint Venture awarded Jumbo the contract for the transportation of the 1,525-ton disconnectable single-point mooring, the so-called riser column, from Jebel Ali in the United Arab Emirates to Exmouth Gulf of Australia. Early 2006, the riser column was hoisted on board and transported horizontally on the main deck hatch covers of Jumbo's motor vessel Fair Partner. In Exmouth Gulf, it is lifted into the water in horizontal position. When free floating, it is towed to its destination 40 kilometers offshore and upended to its final vertical position. Jumbo's scope of work consists of the loadout of the riser column, the sea fastenings on deck, transport from Jebel Ali to Exmouth Gulf in Western Australia, a distance of about 4,600 nautical miles, removal of the sea fastenings and finally discharge of the riser column into the water. One challenge encountered was that the weight of 1525 tons was pretty close to the maximum lifting capacity of the fair partner of 1600 tons. To ensure a safe lift and establish the correct center of gravity, the riser column was weighed at the fabrication yard of Lamprel in Jebel Ali. The four transport saddles, each 40 tons, were loaded and lined out prior to the loading of the riser column. Total weight was determined at 1525 tons and with a length of 94 meters and a maximum diameter of 12 meters, it was a significant piece on deck. With a maximum lifting capacity of 1600 tons, the riser column was the perfect match for the fair partner. To reduce the number of saddles and overall height on deck, the vessel sailed with its two forward hatches open, allowing the riser column connector platform to be below main deck level. Only four ocean transport saddles were necessary on the heavy-duty hatches of the vessel. A stabilizer pontoon was fitted to the starboard side of the fair partner to increase stability. All progressed well and in a couple of hours the enormous load was safely placed in the transport saddles on deck. To secure the 94 meter long piece in a longitudinal direction, two box attachments were installed at the tail end of the riser column. Directly underneath the box attachments, a vessel's tween deck was placed to reduce the impact height and so the size and bending moment of the pitch stoppers. With a maximum sailing speed of 17 knots, the anticipated duration of the ocean voyage from Jebel Ali to the Exmouth Gulf was 12 days. The discharge area is within the sheltered waters of the Exmouth Gulf, 40 kilometers south from the final offshore location. A target discharge area of two and a half miles radius in the Exmouth Gulf was agreed with TSE and Woodside Energy. This area offered maximum shelter for the operation while maintaining a safe distance clear of the sensitive environmental areas. The weather conditions had to be ideal for the time allowed in which the discharge, wet tow to site, upending and anchor leg connections to the seabed had to take place. After safe anchoring of the fair partner in the Exmouth Gulf on February the 10th, 2006, the lift rigging was again installed. Extra Yokohama fenders were placed along the port side of the vessel. Ballast hoses were transferred to the fair partner to ballast the riser column after discharge to tow draft. Oh 
even naar de kraankabine dat de meester gaat, dat de meester gaat meten. Met beide haken zijn die op het gaan. Kraan voor 755. Ja, doe maar wat meer hoor. Maar... With two tugboats awaiting the takeover of the riser column, she was safely discharged into the crystal clear waters of the Exmouth Gulf. Mooring lines were pre-installed and the riser column safely secured alongside the fair partner against the fenders. With the assisting mobile crawler crane equipped with man basket, riggers were placed on the riser column. A fall arrest wire along the column length, anti-slip coating and personnel protective equipment allowed the crew to work safely on top. By transferring the rigging under the belly of the column with the auxiliary hooks, the lifting equipment was quickly and safely recovered. To minimize risks to the environment, a support vessel retrieved floating debris from the riser column. With the riser column secured alongside and the rigging retrieved, the fair partner used her pumps to ballast the riser column to its tow draft. A total of some 700 cubic meters of water ballast was delivered to trim the riser column to the necessary draft for the final transport operation to her destination. I'll we'll take some photos of the draft marks and uh, have a quick inspection and then they'll probably come straight back to us. Roger that. With the tugs in position, the riser column is safely cast off from the fair partner and sent on its way to its final destination offshore.